Hey guys, Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. Thanks for watching. We're going to show you some more great landscape lighting tips. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about transformers. Um, and the different types that are out there. It's one of the questions I get asked all the time. So I'm gonna walk you through really four different types of transformers. Um, and it doesn't really matter the brand. You're gonna see these four types um, more, more times than not. Um, and different brands will all have their different versions of it, but they're basically the same. And the first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is just a basic um, transformer. This one's actually from Kitchler. Um, this is a 120 watt transformer. So I'll explain to you guys in a little bit how to go and size that transformer, but um, I'll walk you through what I like about this transformer first. So it, it's a 120 watt transformer, which basically means if if you're sizing your transformer, you, what you need to do is add up the total of all the lights that you have on your system. So if, say for example, you have a bunch of accent lights and each one of those is five watts each, then if you have 10 of those on your system, you're looking at 50 watts. So what you wanna do is you wanna size your transformer at least 20% bigger than that. So you're, if you have 50 watts, you wanna do at least a 60 watt transformer or a little bit bigger. So this is a 120 watt transformer, so we can easily fit you know, 15 to 20 some lights on this, depending on what kind of, what kind of lights that we're using. Um, so I like this one because it's very simple. It has a photo cell on it, so all a photo cell does is basically just reads a, the sunlight and it's gonna turn your lights on and off with daylight and, and with nighttime. So uh, it's a great, it's a great simple way to do that. The only thing you've got to bear in mind anytime you're using a photo cell is where you place that transformer. Because if it's an area that's too shaded, then it's going to think it's nighttime all the time, and your lights are never going to turn off. So that's the only thing you need to know about a photo cell. Um, the other reason I like this transformer is it has the small timers here, so that you can do a couple different things. One, you can just turn it off and keep it off, and you don't have to unplug it or anything. You can also turn it to the on position. Um, and just leave your lights on all the time or it's a great way to go and test the lights. The other thing you can do uh, is you can set it to auto so it just runs with uh, basically dawn and dusk or you can have four, six and eight hour timers. So basically what that does is it's gonna turn the lights off four, six or eight hours after they've been on. So um, this is one of the types of transformers you'll see different uh, companies, different brands make a very similar style one uh, that you'll see often. The only real drawback to this transformer is one, it is uh, a little bit smaller, so it's only 120 watts, so you're going to be limited to the number of lights that you can put on this, but I'm going to say if you're 16 lights or under, this is probably going to be a good uh, affordable option for you. Uh, the other thing about it is that your taps on here that you put your wires into are only 12 volt taps. Uh, so all that means is uh, one thing to consider is voltage drop. Now if you're using an LED system, it's not something you have to worry too much about, um, but just know that a good quality LED light is going to run anywhere between 9 and 12 volts of power it's going to require to run that light uh, efficiently and to run it properly which means if you're using a 12 volt tap, you can lose up to three volts along the line. So a general rule of thumb is if you're putting 12 to 15 lights and you're only using 250 feet of low voltage 12-2 uh, landscape wire, you're probably gonna be fine with a transformer like this. Um, but the other drawback is also these taps are quite small, so you're only gonna be able to fit one set of wires into this transformer. So there's a little trick that I'll explain to you guys in a bit about that and how you can get around that if you do choose this transformer. But this is a really good uh, basic economy model that's gonna run uh, 12 to 16 lights, no problem. And one thing you can do, and we often do, uh, just to give it a little extra kick and make it a Wi-Fi transformer, is we use these uh, Wyon Outdoor Wi-Fi timers. So basically the way we use this is rather than plugging your transformer directly into your uh, GFCI receptacle, uh, what you do is you plug this into the receptacle outside and then you plug your transformer into here and then you just leave this in the on position and you can control 
all your lighting system now via uh, Yon's app. Uh, the other reason I like it is it has a multitude of different timer options, so you can still have it run with dawn and dusk uh, and many other things like that. So it's a great way to do it. And the last tip I'll tell you about transformers um, is if you are if you are putting it outside um, and it's going to be out in the elements, a good thing to get is like a waterproof box like this. Um, these are four or five dollars at any uh, home improvement store, but what it's going to do is just going to keep the water out of the outlet for you. So um, that's our first transformer. I'll explain to you how we get into a little bit bigger transformer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys got some great do-it-yourself landscape lighting tips. Now, please be sure to go to our website at lightingdoctor.ca and check out our how-to page. It's full of great resources from our podcast or videos for our most frequently asked questions. And also check out our Try It Before You Buy It light, where you can actually go now and get one of our premium quality up lights and a King Innovation Insta light, which is basically a battery pack now that allows you to go and run those lights and test them out on your pop property. Try it for 14 days. If you don't love it, send it back to us and we'll give you a full refund. And if not, you keep the light at a discounted rate and go and buy what you need for your project. So thanks again for watching. Please be sure to leave us a comment. We love your feedback. Have a great day.